So recently I took a three days road trip to a beautiful hill station in South India. Also known as Princess of Hill Stations. Situated at an elevation of 7,000 feet from the sea level, the place has some densely wooded jungles, undulated hill slopes, beautiful lakes, cascading waterfalls and lush green valleys. This is my story of Kodaikanal. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well and uh, yep, back again with another video and right now we are in Kodai Canal. Uh, today is day 2 and right now I am in my uh, homestay, I am in my homestay mein and the time right now is uh, uh, I think 9 o'clock in the morning and here a little drizzle just abhi start hui hai. Weather kafi acha hai, like the drizzle was not expected today. But uh, yeah, it's drizzling at the moment. Uh, it was raining heavily in the morning, but right now it's drizzling. So yeah, today is day two. Uh, I hope uh, aap logo ne day one ka part dekha hoga. I'm not too sure. If you haven't watched the video, go ahead and watch part one. And on this video, we are going to, I'm not sure what which, which places we are going to cover. So. Yeah, I'll keep you posted accordingly. Now I'm going to go for breakfast. And uh, yeah, after having our breakfast, we will go outside and see what places we can explore today. After having a delicious homemade breakfast, we started our journey towards Pundi, which is 38 kilometers away from Kodaikanal. On the way, we found this beautiful waterfall known as Silver Cascade Waterfall, which was our first pit stop. After spending ample time near the waterfall, we started our journey towards Pundi, an underrated village near Kodai Canal, which is a home to breathtaking views, lush green forest, lakes and much more. Undeniably the most serene place you can visit near Pundi is the Manavanur Lake, which is nothing less than a nature's paradise. This lake, as the name suggests, is located in Manavanur village, which is 5 kilometers away from Pundi. The area around Manavanur Lake is perfect for relaxing picnic. Carry your food and sit amid the best of nature and spend a few memorable moments at this peaceful location.
Apart from picnic and walks, one can also go for coracle ride, sheep farm and horse riding, which are some popular activities to do here. The lake comes under forest department and it's safe to say that they have maintained it pretty well. The place is blessed with rich flora and fauna. One can see wide varieties of trees, birds, vegetable cultivation and sheep farming. After spending ample time near the lake, it was time for us to have our lunch. Located at a distance of 10 kilometers from the lake, we found this small restaurant with cozy ambience. Yeah, these are all the pine trees and right now I'm in the pine forest of uh, Kodai Canal. We got late to reach here a little bit, unfortunately, because uh, uh, when we were here, the uh, you know, drizzle and rain started. That's why we were late to I believe the time right now is 4 o'clock. But uh, yeah, finally we are here and man, the place is amazing. Uh, I think there will be like literally over thousands, like thousands of uh, pine trees all around and there are a lot of monkeys as well. So I'll have to be careful uh, with all my camera gears and everything. Uh, those monkeys are very naughty. So yeah, there are a lot of tourists, coffee log hai yahan pe. Charo taraf aapka uh, pine forest. Yeah, the place is uh, really nice. And this place basically is uh, not far uh, I mean, Kodai Canal main town se, I believe uh, 7 or 8 kilometers ke distance pe hoga. So it's quite near uh, So yeah, I will spend some time spend karunga. And uh, yep, I'll show you around So stay tuned That's all for the day. What happens next? Stay tuned for the next part of my point of view, Kodai Kanal.